Hey guys, it's Miss Naughton, and we're starting our photosynthesis notes, um, and we're going to put them on page 72 in our science journal. I have a student with me, and who are you? Her son. <laughs> What's your name? Connor Naughton. All right, thanks, honey. All right, we're going to be going through these notes and kind of discussing them. We're mainly going to be covering TEK 7.5a, all right? All living things are made up of small microscopic cells. What does that mean, Connor? They're... You can't see them. You have to use a microscope to look at them. Right. They're very, very small. All right? Remember to highlight the red part in your notes, okay? All cells need energy to perform their functions. All right. We know that. Now, what we just studied um, macromolecules. What is the energy source for all cells, plant and animal? Glucose. Good. Glucose. That is correct. How do we get our glucose? By eating carbohydrates. That's correct. Um, now plants, we're going to discuss how they get their glucose. They have to make it. We have to eat it and they make their own glucose and that's what photosynthesis is all about. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration are two energy producing are two energy producing processes that occur in these microscopic structures to sustain life. All right, good. We're not going to be co um, covering cellular respiration um, at this point. But we're mainly going to be talking about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the food-making process of plants and some other organisms that take place in the presence of light. All right, you got to have light in order for photosynthesis to take place. This picture down here. Uh, we're going to be, um, you probably already colored it for your cover page, um, and this is a very important essentials. Um, we need carbon dioxide, we need um, water, we need sun in order for plants to make their own food. Photo <sighs> yes, sir, go ahead. Plant cells photosynthesize to convert radiant energy to chemical energy. Okay, what's radiant energy, Connor? Sun. That's right. They need sun energy, and they're going to turn it into chemical energy. Now, remember, chemical energy is found in all what? Food. Correct. Are plants food? Yes. They are food. So they convert sun energy into chemical energy, and then we end up eating them. Yep. And that's what's in our food, chemical energy. Yes. Chloroplasts in plant cells contain green pigment chlorophyll, which absorbs radiant energy and uses it to convert carbon dioxide and water into chemical energy stored in glucose. All right. And remember, we've already studied chloroplasts and chlorophyll. Remember? In the part of the plants, that's part of the plant cells. That's where photosynthesis takes place. That's why we pre-taught it to you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Remember to highlight all of these when you're writing your notes. The, this is very important. This statement right here is um, very important into understanding photosynthesis. Oxygen, oxygen, is, oxygen is also produced during photosynthesis and released into the atmosphere. Right. What do we give off? Do we give up oxygen or what do we? No, we give up carbon dioxide. Correct. So they, plants, give off oxygen. What do we need? Oxygen. Right. It's a perfect cycle. It's a perfect fit puzzle. Without plants, would we be alive? No. You would be dead? Yes. Good. I don't want to be dead. Okay, go ahead. Plants and other organisms use glucose, a food source which provides the energy needed for growth, re reproduction, absorption of nutrients, and other life processes. Very good. So it's telling you what we use glucose for, which is the energy. Chemical equations for photosynthesis. All right, now here's the three equations. You need to make sure that you write all three of these down. Number one right here, number two, and number three. Write them completely out. These are in word, this is word form. You have carbon dioxide plus water, okay? And then a chemical reaction is going to take place. You need light energy in order for heat, basically, and light, light energy, in order for um, the photosynthesis to take place, it's going to turn into carbohydrates and oxygen. Because what are carbohydrates made out of, Connor? 
Glucose. Right, glucose. And if you look down here, this is the uh, chemical formula for glucose. So that's basically what happens during photosynthesis. This right here, <coughs> excuse me, CO2 is the chemical formula for carbon dioxide. What's H2O? Water. Correct. When you take these two, add light energy and chlorophyll, it's going to come out as, what's this formula for? Glucose. Plus, also it's going to give off oxygen gas. So plants are making their own glucose. The final equation is the third one that you'll see more in chemistry class. This is what we call the balanced equation. You have to have the same number of atoms on this side of the equation as on that side of the equation over here in order to be balanced. Well, these are all the notes for photosynthesis. Uh, we have hoped you enjoyed them. Next week, um, when we do our uh, next unit, we'll be having another student come and help us. Connor, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye, guys.